Welcome back. Kern County is essentially ground zero when it comes to valley fever, with thousands of cases being seen here every year. 23 ABC's Brandon Johansson spoke with medical professionals, advocates, and those fighting the disease about the battle against valley fever. Well, the fight against valley fever very much requires a two pronged approach. There's, of course, the medical side of things with professionals working to find a vaccine. There's also a part that you and I can help with. That's awareness, an equally important part when you consider that this spore is growing all around us in our soil. Avery, love you. I hope you get better. It says better. Getting better. Get well, sir. We miss you. That's the priority for Avery and for Amber, both of them in the midst of fighting off a sickness. I mean, you just get r very tired and like you're out of it a lot. Both forced to take medication. I have the drinking one and she has the pill no. one. And both struck with valley fever. I mean, I wish she wouldn't have gotten I but I wish it would have been me. She's just too little. But both are lucky. Amber is in recovery and Avery is hopefully on her way. She knows she's sick, but I don't think she realizes how serious it is. And it is serious. You can get the fever when you inhale spores into your lungs, and those spores can be found in parts of the southwest United States, with an epidemic area in Kern County. I am a valley fever survivor, and I would like to know if we can have your support on the next bill coming up. Julie Solis thinks of her downtown Bakersfield home as valley fever headquarters. Letting people know about valley fever, um, because it is a dirty little secret. We just don't talk about it. And they're trying to talk about it. Assembly Bill 1279 would have pushed resources to valley fever awareness, but it was vetoed on the governor's desk. Now every Wednesday, they meet to make calls, calls that they hope will lead to a new bill and more awareness. Okay, is it S-H-E double R or one R? Meanwhile, the medical fight against valley fever in Kern County can be traced back to Hans Einstein in the 1950s. That work now being carried on by a friend, Dr. Royce Johnson. This is a very big season. I don't have numbers. The health department, I don't think, has numbers yet. But uh, I can just tell you from personal experience, big year. Public Health does have numbers on last year, when there were more cases in Kern County than in nine of the previous 10 years. And Johnson thinks that this year could be worse. There's currently no cure or vaccine, and symptoms range from cold-like to flu-like to pneumonia. But in one to 5% of patients, the fungus leaves the lungs and spreads to other parts of the body, like it did in Julie's husband when it went to his brain. Um, my husband's 42, and his brain size and activity is of an 80-year-old. And so when I asked the doctor, what is his brain going to look like when he was 80, um, the doctor really didn't seem to think my husband would live to 80. And the fact that the disease can be deadly, combined with the lack of a cure, makes early diagnosis all the more vital. Julie's daughter is fine after being diagnosed early. Pete has to undergo treatment, but he is alive after being diagnosed. And Avery is on the road to recovery. Get well soon, Avery. Love your friends. AJ, we miss you. She's getting better. Avery, I hope you get well soon. I miss you. Get well. Welcome back. In Taft, Brandon Johansson, 23 ABC News.